Looks like Godzilla vs. King Kong is returning. And hopefully, in this American version of that movie, movie Godzilla doesn't die. Okay, now. So let's talk about the main backstory behind King Kong. No, that's someone else did it, but hey. Let's look for their angle, though. Though, that, that it's a monarch creation. Well, most of the King Kongs are not even related to that universe. So, yeah. In fact, fact, mo in their cases, cases, they have giant, giant, giant awful parts that want to try and eat the people on the island. Island. Island and kill dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, while well, giant dinosaur named the Vostasaurus Rex or V Rex, V Rex is pretty much hunting down every day. Reading is the literal embodiment of an island ecosystem with this kind of monstrosity city on the loose. Oh! Anyways, anyways, let's get back to the main story. In this version, if Monarch made this King Kong, then it will grow big enough to be a pose of a threat to the whole entire universe. Bum bum bum! In fact, to even this planet is a threat of King Kong if he can't stop growing. Growing. Meaning that Godzilla and the other titans, Mothra, and possibly even Mecha Godzilla, Zilla, the Alpha Skoka, and possibly even, what I'm hoping, Mecha King Ghidorah on the enemy side to try and help King Kong. Kong. <sighs> Well, for once, I want to see see Mecha King Ghidorah to attack King King Ghidorah, but I don't really know. Basically, for King Kong versus Godzilla, so I want to see is Mecha King Ghidorah versus King Kong and some other Titans versus his versus him before Godzilla comes and rains upon the storm of deadliness. So yeah, like I said, King Kong. Could be the literal embodiment. In this version, the King Kong is the literal embodiment of the Indoraptor, the raptor without really realizing it. So, yeah, Monarch, if that's the main story huh, that we're going with, then wow. Wow! Because guess what? So, if we're going in that direction, then we have to feel. If we're going in that direction, then wow. Well, then we actually want King Kong to die. La, 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 la. Why? Besides, I don't know, he continues to grow and can, can pose a threat to the whole entire universe. That's possibly even the first place why the Titans even existed to protect the universe, possibly, from threats of the planet. Planet. Anyways, we know very little about these things, so yeah. And there's the tanker. Hmm. If so, wouldn't they just airdrop their big monkey on the island? And uh, not monkey, big egg on the island. I mean, then to fight against. It. And why are the tank over there? Well, there are two different reasons. First of all, well, it's a titan, the newest one. Most likely, frankly, a sub mammal. Why am I using the term sub mammal? I'm saying that as a, as a unique lineage of mammals that still lay eggs, like the platypus. Platypus. So, equaling. So basically, King Kong is not an ape. It's pretty much some sort of thing. And by my calculations, Godzilla actually fought King Kong before. For and most likely ended up like, like both of them going into the sea or King Kong dying. If King Kong died, died in it, it means that King Kong, Kong has the same. One of the same abilities as the Mothra, for another, another titan. And are you ready to hear it?
able able to live on past their death. Death. That's right. They have the same memories, the same everything as that Mothra, as the Mothra that died. La 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 la. So yeah. And then there's a little bit more. Well, to that came from. If they fall into the ocean, ocean then most likely would have been on Skull Island or another island. Island. This is where the tanker comes into play. The tanker would have took King 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 Kong Kong to Skull Island on accident. Accident. And with him saying that he's a kid, meaning that that the original, you know, King Kong Kong is dead. No, the King Kong that thing both in this one. Yeah. And then King Kong, in this one, King Kong is actually living on another island. One that I can presume has the V-Rexes on the loose. What the Wanderer just came across this island actually, and they stole King Kong. Kong and Inex then placed it on, on Skull Island with Skull Crawlers on it. Possibly the main reason why it's called Skull Island. <coughs> So we gotta read some maps. So yeah. Let's think a little bit more about why though. Let's think about 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 in the main direction that we're going in that King Kong is an actual is mainly like the other iterations of King Kong and that is a gigantopithecus isolated on an island that need more muscles muscles to continue surviving thing and allowing them to become omnivorous indeed think about it though if you're pretty much a mammal trying to survive if you're gigantopithecus trying to to survive a Valsasaurus Rex is on the loose and giant arthropods, possibly even pterosaurs trying to trying to eat you. Eat you then you're gonna to need to be strong go go and strong enough to take them down. Gigantism is, a, is most likely a side effect. So this is the main evolution. But also there's a but also in my favorite versions of King Kong, and by that I mean the Peter Jackson's King Kong, this unorthodox ecosystem, which isn't really at all, oh, if King Kong was still surviving, the insects would have gone away, way, way, due to the lack of efficient oxygen supplies in the air. Air. If a nest that Skull Island has its own. Ew, symbolotics. Ooh. Yeah. There's a... Yeah. There's a... So, yeah. Let's just say that that's not real. Because that's never re real. Anyways, leaving the dinosaurs to actually make their own ecosystem. Ecosystem to the way they want. Maybe even... Even... When when Tyrannosaurus Rex, Pygmy Tyrannosaurus Rex, it would appear, appear and start to chase down, chase down Skull Island's Brontosauruses, Brontosauruses. So there's maybe more to this than what we give credit for. Could there possibly be more dinosaurs in the future of Peter Jackson's Skull Island, Island than there ever was before? <coughs> The KT extinction event may have something to contribute to the main hypothesis that is genetics. Well, not me, really, but this extreme isolation, though. Saying this, this, this extreme isolation, 
What have actually been very, and I mean very extreme, extreme. They need to get past over a continent somewhat. They need to get past over all sorts of things. And yet, what do we see? And yet, we can possibly actually see the water not even going, not really going there at all. So, yeah, that's some sort of strange logic. But it's the actual environment that counts. Then again, Skull Island is actually a tropical island. Meaning that some of the side effects would have gone to the island that much. Now, for extreme isolation. Isolation to happen. Possibly even, even there's something more about this island than, than what we give credit for. Before, why is it more closer to the mainland? Maybe because of tectonic shifts. Basically, so in that way, the crust isn't just one big piece. No, in it, it's multiple crusts all together, together moving around however they want. Which means that Skull Island might accidentally have its own crust. Ooh, pointing toward words to the USA or America, the North America and South America. So, yeah. So that's pretty much King Kong, completely extreme. Explain, for one of the Titans, for the Titan universe, I'm not really resettling on the feel, think that it isn't you now. Safe. So, yeah. And the, why would some and also so I wonder if there's more more to to the vocal wildlife of Skull Island than what we think. Think for now. Could there be more in the future? Well, that would only be guesses. So it's for the next video, explaining the the mystery, explaining or exposing the mysteries of Skull Island.